What up, players? Uh, welcome to your 16th tutorial against me, Travis. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. Uh, basically, I'm going to start my lessons a little differently. I'm going to kind of show you the end result first. So, if you want to skip the lesson, I won't be offended, but you know, I'll just be be crying myself to sleep. But here we go. Uh, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to be able to use this menu button on the phone, um, the hardware of the phone actually, and it's going to create a menu. Or it's going to inflate our own custom menu that we set up and there's two items that we set up in this menu and when we click on an item it performs an action basically this is setting up a new activity which I used the splash XML as the set content um, basically that's what we're going to do we'll change what those menus uh, actually or items do in the menu uh, the next tutorial make it a little more fancy but uh, for now we're just going to set that up First, we want to create a new class uh, activity. We're going to call this Suite, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it Suite, and we want to set this up as an activity. So we're going to say Extends Activity Class, and we got to import that, and then we got to, uh, you know, override some methods here. And basically, you guys know what you're doing. You've done this before. You probably like. Oh yeah, I could teach this right now, but this is for those noobs that are watching the videos out of out of line, you know. Basically, on our end create, we're gonna set uh, content view as uh, r dot layout dot uh, splash. Basically, so we know our menu items are actually doing something. Uh, this is just kind of gonna send up um, start this activity, so they we. Uh, da -da -da -da. So we know that works, basically. Sorry for that jibble, jabble, gibberish. But uh, anyways, we also want to set up, or actually I'm going to set up the XML real quick, Android Manifest, so it actually recognizes that. So I'm just going to copy and paste one of these activities that aren't the launcher and set up our suite activity and just change it to all uppercase suite as the name. So there we go. Um, now I want you to set up a new folder within our resources. This is going to store all the menus that we want to create. And we're going to call it menu because we're so creative and awesome. And now we need to set up a new menu. How are we going to do that? Basically how we did it with an XML layout. We're going to go to other Android XML file. And this is basically what we did for a layout. But usually the layout button was selected. Now it's going to be selected for menu. So we're going to um, make sure the menu is selected. We're going to label this as main underscore menu. Sorry, I got the hiccups for some reason. But uh, basically this is going to set up a menu, kind of like I showed you, instead of taking over the full screen like our layout would. So we got to add an XML like I always forget. And we are good to go there. And basically uh, for the menu, it's going to, be pretty much set up like a layout was except it's going to have a menu um, opening and closing and what we want inside the menu let's see what we have reference to pretty lame huh no buttons no layout no linear layouts no like all that other sweet stuff you can do just item and group so we're going to set up one item and we'll see what we can uh, define this item as here and again our choices are pretty limited but uh, we want to set up a reference so we can use it later and this is going to be pretty much set up the same way at plus ID. And we're going to call this menu suite. And just to show you some other things, um, we want um, oh these let's say uh, alphabetic uh, shortcut. Basically, when our menu inflates, we can use the keyboard on your phone if you have one to hit like um, let's say. Let's say S. If you hit S on your um, keyboard when the menu is inflated, it'll choose this item. So basically, it's kind of like instead of clicking on it, you can also use your keyboard to set up some shortcuts. Last thing we want for this item is to be a title so we can see it um, in action on the menu inflator. So you can set this up as whatever. You can reference it in your string if you set it up there. I'm just going to say. Um, open sweet activity and then we just need to close our item 
Now I'm just going to set up two items in this uh, menu and we're just going to change some things around. We're going to call this one toast and you'll understand why in the next tutorial and I'm just going to say toast for this as well and change the shortcut to T and there we go we got our menu set up now we want to open up where we want this menu to be accessible from so we're going to open up my menu uh, Java class uh, and basically I'm just going to minimize everything we've done on the on create method and so it's going to look like this it's not gone it's just minimized so don't worry and then we need to set up two other methods instead of on create we want some menu methods and these are going to be boolean um, boolean I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that never got that right so if you guys want to shoot me an email or leave me some hate comments because I can't pronounce it right that's fine uh, but uh, basically we're going to say public boolean and we need to label these correctly for these um, this is going to be the one to say uh, kind of give a reference to um, to the the menu button on the hardware of the phone and it's going to set up what menu we want to inflate and it's called on create men or on create options menu and what it's going to take in its parameter is a menu item and we're going to label that menu item uh, menu and it won't recognize what the menu is um, so we're just going to import it Again, this is just our variable we're going to use within this method. So uh, there we go. And what we want to do is we want to say super dot on create computer super slow. So it's probably freaking yeah, it's freaking out right now. Sorry, on create um, options menu. And it's going to take menu as its parameter again. And we're getting an error right now because every time you use a Boolean um, thing, is it needs a return method. So it's going to say either return true or false somewhere within this method we need to, to uh, set up to get rid of this error. So that's probably the problem so far. And then what we also want to set up is a menu inflator. And again, this is just a, a variable. Um, that basically inflates what menu we want it to inflate or you know pops up at the bottom of our screen not inflanter inflator all right and we're just going to call this awesome doesn't really matter again um, we're going to import that as well because it's not recognizing it we need to set this up to something we're going to set it up to a, a different method get menu inflator method and now we just need to use this on something we need to use this method on something so we're gonna do awesome dot inflate and this is what it's gonna inflate and as you can see it takes an int and a menu our menu is gonna be what we label this menu as up here within our little class or our little method that we're setting up and for this it's gonna be what we reference it our, our reference basically our r dot layout dot or not layout I'm sorry r dot uh, third times a charm r dot menu dot main menu because it's referencing it through this menu folder and then we're gonna hit comma and menu so it's that one right there and now it's basically gonna inflate this one um, when you know the hardware of the phone is click that menu button all we have to do now is hit return true and we are done with this class right here or this little method um, and now we want to set up another one because we want to be able to recognize when an item is clicked on so this is going to be a kind of a true false return as well so we're going to set up as boolean and again, you have to label this correctly. It's going to be on options um, item select selected. I yeah, on options item selected, I believe. Hopefully, yeah, uh, it is. Trust me, trust me. We'll figure this out. On options item selected, and this is going to take an menu item at, and its parameters. 
and again it won't recognize it so we're gonna have to import it but uh, menu item and we're gonna call this item so we gotta import this bam and there we go now we just need to set up what we want in here again we're gonna have a few choices however many items are within our menu we can select from so we're gonna set this up as a switch and case like we've done in a previous lesson and what we want the switch to be well we want it to be the ID how are we gonna get the ID from that we're gonna say item whatever is passed into this method right here which we set up right there we're gonna say get item ID and it's just gonna set up what the item ID is now again uh, we're gonna run some cases but let's say there's no cases uh, that actually work that we want so we're gonna say after we run all the cases and we can't find anything we're just gonna say return false outside of our switch and case brackets here so it's gonna return false otherwise if it finds a case we're gonna make it return true so we're gonna say case r dot id dot menu suite we're gonna do some stuff so dots on top of each other what we're gonna do we're gonna start a new activity again this is kinda of review for this part and this will be a new intent what intent com dot corn boys dot the basics dot so wait and uh, just finish that off with a semicolon and we're gonna also return true okay and now we also want to set up a new case r dot id dot menu toast and for now we're just gonna set this up as uh, doing nothing so we're gonna say set this up next tutorial and we'll change that one in the next tutorial as well uh, basically and we want to say uh, return true as well doesn't really matter what the return is for these but we're gonna say return true and save it make sure everything works real quick I'm gonna run it and uh, basically again this is just for setting up the hardware of the phone and what menu we want it to inflate when we click that button this one we want to make sure uh, what item it is and what we want that item to do and we also make sure they're both boolean and they're labeled this as well and that's basically the end of this lesson now I'm just gonna make sure it works real quick bam there it is open suite activity because our toast one doesn't do anything and it opens up our new suite activity we created alright guys thanks again for watching see you later Peace.